Azerbaycan Respublikası'nın prezidenti Canap İlham Aliyev. Making a keynote speech at the first session of the Azerbaijan Parliament's fifth convocation, head of the Parliament's administration, Safa Mirzaev, said the state whose strategy left as the legacy by the national white leader Heydar Aliyev was being continued successfully in our country. This election is another achievement of the policy pursued by President Ilham Aliyev in all spheres. Congratulating the parliamentarians on the elections, Safa Mirzaev said according to the second article of the parliament's internal regulation, the oldest member of the newly formed parliament was to chair the first session. Parliamentarian Fatah Haydarov assumed this mission. Chairing the session, Fatah Haydarov declared the first session of the Azerbaijan parliament's fifth convocation open. The anthem of the Republic of Azerbaijan was performed. Fatah Haydarov said according to the internal regulation, the list of parliamentarians was to be read out at the first session. Accounting commission and speaker of the parliament were to be elected. Then Fatah Haydarov read out the list of the newly elected parliamentarians. Addressing the first session of the parliament, President Ilham Aliyev extended his congratulations on the start of the Azerbaijan parliament's fifth convocation. The head of state said on November 1st our people expressed their will. The elections were transparent and fair, international observers also proved it. President Ilham Aliyev underlined that with those elections, Azerbaijan made another successful step on the way of democracy. Azerbaijan is committed to democracy and all democratic institutions are successfully functioning in our country, said President Ilham Aliyev and underlined that recent development processes in the country had also had a significant impact on the results of the elections. Noting that our country's international influence was growing, our country was known as a reliable partner, economy was developing rapidly, influencing the citizens' lives, significant achievements were made in terms of poverty and unemployment, the head of state said all those achievements were based on the stability. President Ilham Aliyev said inter-ethnic and inter-religious relations were built on the highest level in Azerbaijan, stressed that the state policy was united with the public support in this issue. The head of state underlined that there were new challenges ahead, said problems still remained and the main attention must be focused on their solution. Among them, Armenian-Azerbaijan Nagorno-Karabakh conflict comes first. Stating that Armenia was not interested in the settlement of the conflict, President Ilham Aliyev said the international law and historic justice were on our side. The UN Security Council and other international organizations adopted decisions and resolutions on the settlement of the conflict. Our people will not allow creation of a second Armenian state in Azerbaijan's territory, said the head of state and underlined that the activity of the OSC Minsk Group had not produced results. Diplomatic and political efforts will be continued, stressed the importance of solving the conflict only within Azerbaijan's territorial integrity. President Ilham Aliyev said strengthening military potential was a top priority. It was important for our country's security. The head of state noted that reforms fight against corruption and bribery were on the way to further develop Azerbaijan, touched on the importance of paying more attention to the development of the nano sector, implementing infrastructural and social projects in the regions. Azerbaijan is demonstrating leadership in redrawing Europe's energy map, said President Ilham Aliyev, adding that realization of the Southern Gas Corridor project will enhance our country's potential, increase Azerbaijan's influence on the ongoing processes in the region and continent. Azerbaijan was playing an important role in the creation of the East-West Transport Corridor. The head of state underlined that no external force could influence our policy and Azerbaijan's realities were the best answer to the smear campaigns against our country. Saying that the situation balance of forces had changed in the world while security was ensured in our country, Azerbaijan was capable of protecting itself from any interference. President Ilham Aliyev stressed that our country was successfully stepping forward along the path of independence. Fatah Haydar expressed gratitude to President Ilham Aliyev on behalf of the parliamentarians, stated that all the tasks will be successfully fulfilled by the parliament. Fatah Haydar declared the names of the candidates for the accounting commission. The candidates were approved through voting. Then Oktay Asadov was nominated to be the Speaker of the Parliament. Oktay Asadov stated the polls successfully pursued under the leadership of our President Ilham Aliyev will be supported on the level of the Parliament. Secret voting was held after the Chairman of the Accounting Commission, Issa Habib Peyli, gave information about the rules of voting. After the voting was over, Issa Habib Peyli said 124 parliamentarians voted for Oktay Asadov. Oktay Asadov was elected as the Speaker of the Parliament.
Fond, the Speaker of the Parliament of Tessad, of thanked for the confidence shown in him, saying that the recent parliamentary elections was an important step in the country's development. Oktesad stated that the members of the new Azerbaijan party had taken more seats, attributed it to the great influence of the party, and congratulated all his colleagues. Assad said the parliament's activity was successful. The legislative framework of the policy, pursued under the leadership of President Ilham Aliyev, was strengthened even more. He said 116 sessions were held, more than 1,400 acts, 1,000 decisions and laws adopted during the Azerbaijan parliament's fourth convocation. Amnesty Act was adopted on the initiative of the Hydrolee Foundation. Much was done to enhance the international relations, systematic work done to ensure the support for Azerbaijan's position in armenian azerbaijan nagorno karabakh conflict. Significant contributions were made to the state's foreign policy. Oktay Sadov also spoke about the upcoming priorities in the parliament's activity. Then vice speakers were elected. Member of Parliament Ziafed Askerov was elected as the first deputy chairman of the parliament, Bahar Muradva and Valihel Askerov as vice speakers. President Ilham Aliyev congratulated the speaker and vice speakers, wished success to the parliament. Chairman of the parliamentary committees were elected after the break. Member of Parliament Ali Sendi was elected as the Chairman of the Parliament's Committee on Legal Policy and Statehood, Zefet Askarov as Chairman of the Parliament's Committee on Defense, Security and Fight Against Corruption, Ziad Samad as the Chairman of the Parliament's Committee on Economic Policy, Industry and Entrepreneurship, Vali Ali Askarov as the Chairman of the Parliament's Committee on Natural Resources, Energy and Ecology, Eldad Ibrahimov as the Chairman of the Parliament's Committee on Agrarian Policy, Hadra Jabli as the Chairman of the Parliament's Committee on Labour and Social Policy, Arif Rahimzadeh as the Chairman of the Parliament's Committee on Regional Issues, Issa Habib as the Chairman of the Parliament's Committee on Science and Education, Rafael Hussainov as the Chairman of the Parliament's Committee on Culture, Bahar Muradov as the Chairman of the Parliament's Committee on Human Rights, Samad Seydov as the Chairman of the Parliament's Committee on International and Interparliamentary Relations. New committees were set up at the Parliament. Ahliman Amr Aslanov was elected as the Chairman of the Parliament's Committee on Healthcare, Agyan Akhchivanli as the Chairman of the Parliament's Committee on Family, Women and Children Affairs, Siavish Novruzov as the Chairman of the Parliament's Committee on Public Unions and Religious Organizations, Fuat Muradov as the Chairman of the Parliament's Committee on Youth and Sports. The first working day of the Parliament ended.